This is Sarah Threadster Nurse RN.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to assess visual acuity using a Snellen chart. Whenever you do this you are assessing cranial nerve 2 which is the optic nerve and of course whenever you perform this skill you will need a Snellen chart. Now we're going to test visual acuity using a Snellen chart and what you're going to do is you're going to have your patient stand about 20 feet from the chart. So Ben if you'll stand about right there for me and ask your patient do you wear glasses? No. Okay, and if your patient does wear glasses, you'll want them to wear those for this test. Okay, so what we're going to do, look at that chart over there and try to read the lowest line for me that you can read, okay? okay. And first we're going to cover your right eye, then your left eye, and then we'll do both eyes, okay? So cover your right eye. Okay, and what line can you read? Eight. Okay, read it for me. D, E, F, P, O, T, E, C. Okay, very good. Okay, now we're going to cover up your left eye and do the same thing. And again, whatever line you can read, let me know. Eight. Eight again, okay. D, E, F, P, O, T, E, C. Okay, and now read with both eyes. And what line? Eight. Okay. D E F P O T E C. Okay, and he read from line eight, so that means that he has 20 20 vision. And this means that he can see the same line of letters at 20 feet that a person with normal vision can see at 20 feet. However, let's say that in his left eye he could only read like line six, which is 20 30. That would mean that his left eye sees at 20 feet that a person with normal vision would see at 30. Okay, so that is how you assess visual acuity using a Snellen chart. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos.